I'm back. Welcome. It's time to talk about surface gradient factor and the relationship between GF99 and surface gradient factor. Okay, I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. And he really does a great job of this in his article. So, here we go. A higher gradient factor 99, as this number is higher, it means you're moving more and more and more and more towards that M value. The higher this number, that means that this number, your surface gradient factor, will decrease faster. We want this number to be as low as possible. That means when you get to the surface, that's what surface gradient factor is. It's the gradient factor you would have at the surface if you went immediately to the surface. So the lower the number, the further away you are from the M value when you surface. However, if you go too quickly, that's bigger bubbles, more bubbles coming out quick, and although you may end up at the surface with a, 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 a low gradient factor, you may be bent. If you increase the speed of nitrogen removal, you will notice that your surface gradient factor reduces faster. That's what he says. I just said that. In turn, a lower surface gradient factor means you're getting out of the water. So the lower this number, it means the less nitrogen remaining inside your body, which ultimately is less risk of DCS. In contrast, in opposite of that, he goes on to say a lower gradient factor 99. So this number is lower. That means less nitrogen off-gassing efficiently. You will remove less nitrogen during a given amount of time. This means that your surface GF will decrease slower. Okay? Makes sense? So if this is lower, that means you're going to be having more surface gradient factor. And um, this will decrease slower. So this is the optimal level. You want to be at about half of whatever your high gradient factor is set to, which we talked about high gradient factor is what lets you out of the water. It's basically controlling your final stop before you get out of the water. Let's look at this as a great example. The, trying to get it to focus. There we go. A lower gradient factor, 99, means slower nitrogen removal. So 6% is really crawling. You're not letting very much bubbles out of your body. That means that surface gradient factor will decrease much slower. Not a very good speed. Too slow. Okay, that's just too slow. We don't want it to spike quickly, though. By the way, that's also what he talks about. At the same time, you should be cautious about allowing it, meaning the GF99, to quickly spike. That would provoke micro bubble formation and cause decompression stress. So we don't want to just move up so quickly that this spikes. Again, we don't want it to be more than about half of what your high gradient factor is set to. Next, I'm going to talk about how to set these up in your particles and your petrol, how to configure them. Very easy to do. This was a short video, and the next one will be short as well. And then we're going to get into some other cool examples. Can't wait to show you controlling your safety stop for real. Are you really exactly where you should be in your safety stop to optimally off gas and control what your surface gradient factor will be at the same time controlling the speed so you don't waste all of your air on your surface stop, on your safety stop? You can do that with GF99. It's awesome. Bye everybody.